Hey guys, welcome back to the Shepherd Farm. Hope you guys are having a good day. I am enjoying the warm weather. So, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the our hay situation and how we solved our problem of having hay strung for four miles. And it's just really wasteful. So we built a cage out of cattle panels um, and then we just cut holes in it. I'll show you later. Um, and we stuck that over a hay bale and it's so amazing. Um, so here we go. So if you just throw a hay bale out here with the sheep, you get all of this and it's strung clear over there. It's everywhere. And that's just with two sheep and a goat. They string it out that far. We made ourselves this handy dandy, I call it a ring, it's a square rectangle, some shape like that. And notice how much is in there. It's not near as much as the rams left strung out. And there's just a small circle around, like out right here, there's a little bit, and that's really about it. Hi. But we cut out cross pieces in these cattle panels. Pretty sure they're four by five, I think. And we cut out a cross piece here, then we cut out one at the bottom. Then then there's two on the long sides. There, 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 and there. And then there wait, there's four on the long sides. I don't know if I said that. And two on the short sides and we welded nuts on here and then put pins through them and that w it was working really good at first but then that's where we come to the problem with the size of these holes the goat started getting through here and he would pop all the pins off and then our our cage would fall apart and you look out here and then there's a goat in the middle and no cage. And uh, so that's something we're gonna have to modify about this. Um, so we just started, I don't know if you guys can see this, but we just started tying it together with hay string. And it seems to work really good. And when we get ready to put a bale of hay in, we set the hay bale down, pick the ring up and put it on top. and all there is to it and it's it's a nice setup like I said the holes they're a little big the goat can get through it and the babies can get through them so they're all sleeping in here in the ring in the cage and yeah like I said that's just something we're gonna have to fix and figure out what to do so yeah and here comes our knight in shining blue armor Carrying our brand new hay bale, speaking of, we're heading out of the sunset, exact opposite of what, what most people say, but here he comes. <laughs> you gotta cut the strings off so they don't sit there and eat them. I mean, it's not that much of a color difference. I mean, it's yellow hay and orange string, but, oh, there's yellow string in there. Now I can see where that would get confusing. But yeah, you gotta go through and cut all the strings out. When you when you wrap a hay bale, the string starts before the hay bale is finished, so that you know it doesn't all fall off. And sometimes it just doesn't want to give it back. But 
that's okay. We'll get it eventually. See, there it goes. It's all gone. Yeah, just imagine our big, fluffy, adorable Hank running off with all of that in his mouth. You know, he waits till you're done. And, uh, grabs a big mouthful and he's gone. When I was telling y'all about the string starts before the hay bale is finished and it doesn't want to give it back, there you go. Release the hay bale! <laughs> then we have the moving of the hay cage from one spot to another because you know you don't want to sit your hay in the same spot every time because then your grass that you have there will just all die instead of leaving one hay bale there and then moving it to a different place like so um and also it's, it's good because when the hay breaks down and uh, i guess in other words rots it fills in the low spots because you know it turns to dirt um so that's where we've been placing our our hay is just in low spots and so yeah you just slide the cage over the bale fits perfectly then they come up and they just eat Yeah, when he walks back through there, oh, he ain't even got to. Here they come. Just one right after the other. And then Hazel. Hi, baby. Yep. There they are. Wow. We got some big old babies this year. And you got Fuzzball and Grimmy. Oh, that was perfect, buddy. Can you do it again? Do it again. Yes. Oh, here comes the life of the party. Hey. That goat, we've had him for, what, a year and a half? He's mine. He was so cute and sweet when we got him. Like, he was honestly a good animal. Hinky, you're gonna have to quit. Thank you. He was just so sweet when we got him, and then he grew up, and he's awful. He headbutts, but man, he's so cute. Come here, goat. There we go. See? There go the three mi three Diablos, the three musketeers. Yep, then we got them down there eating their new hay bale. You know that one I have I don't even know about it. Cause it there's plenty of room down at the bottom, but you know, that's okay. And of course we all know who's enjoying the nice weather outside. Come here, partner. Sweet boy. Partner. He's so handsome. Good boy. He's so handsome. And he loves his human. I mean, just look at this. Well, today's video, short and sweet. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Partner did. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Just tell us about your day in the comments. Be like, hi. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time.